Good morning. Welcome to the Middle Tennessee Women's Basketball 2024 Pre NCAA Tournament Media Availability. Today we're joined by head coach Rick Ensel, graduate student Courtney Whitson, and senior Savannah Wheeler. 11 seed Middle Tennessee is set to take on 6 seed Louisville in Baton Rouge, Louisiana this Friday, 12.30 p.m. Central Time on ESPN2. We'll start with the opening statement from coach and then open up for questions. For those on the Zoom, please use the raise hand function and we will call on you. We, you, you want an opening statement from me? Yes. We haven't played yet. No. Uh, we're, we're happy to be here, and we're very excited about being the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, we feel like that, um, that you know, that in Baton Rouge it's going to be uh, – you got four great teams there. We feel like we're playing at our best right now, so uh, we're pretty excited about getting back on the court this afternoon and practicing. Coach, the phrase Louisville's coaches Jeff Walls used when the bracket was revealed on Sunday about y'all's game against them last year was that y'all kicked their ass uh, here in the Murphy Center. Huh. What, what what do you remember about the prep for that game specifically that, that led to, you know, the good result for the team at the time? Well, you know, we respect Jeff. I mean, he's a good friend of Matt's and mine. Uh, been a good friend for a long time. He's one of the good guys because at least he will play people like us here at Middle Tennessee. He's consistently played us, and, and we've had a good series going. I think he's won four or five games. We've won a couple. But um, we've always, you know, the teams have always had tough, tough games, uh, except one time when they pretty much destroyed us up there in front of Louisville. But you're looking at two different teams. He's got a totally different team than what he had last year. And in our situation, we're minus – a couple, and we're really minus three players. So we're kind of a different team also. Uh, so we're pretty excited about our team. Now, I, I looked at his squad uh, about three or four games just since yesterday afternoon to this morning, and, you know, they're they're pretty tough. They're tough-minded like Jeff, and, the, you know, they're well coached. You know, we, we'll get together this afternoon, and we'll just we'll put a game plan together right now, you know, it's just two different teams. Courtney, I talked with Savannah a little bit about this on Sunday, but obviously the Colorado game in the first round, a lot of lessons to be learned for the team for that. What are some lessons that you're hoping the teams learned in that time that they're going to apply to the NCAA tournament this year? Um, yeah, Coach, just, you know, we keep talking about we have a completely different team. Um, so we're excited to go back in the dance. You know, it's what we work for. Um, and so just staying level-minded and knowing that um, the work that got us to this point can't stop now just because we're here. So we want to win some games and uh, make a run in this thing. Courtney, this is your third NCAA tournament. What does it mean just to, you know, be in a spot like this in a conference where you do have to, you know, pretty much win out and win your conference tournament every year? Um, I mean, I think that our coaches have – they do things the right way. That's why you come to Middle Tennessee. And so I don't think it's luck that we've got here. Uh, we might not always get the respect that we deserve um, for the work that we've put in to get here. Um, but I know that we're in the right spot. Um, we're excited about our matchup. We know that uh, they're, just like Coach said, they're tough-minded, but so are we. So um, just making sure that, you know, we have that chip on our shoulder, like you said, because it does take a lot of work to get there, but it takes everyone else the same amount of work. It just um, all the talk, you know, goes out the window when the ball, ball is tipped up. So. Rick, I know your family uh, is good friends with Kim Mulkey at, at LSU, and, and what and, we are, and you know what she's built there in, in a fairly short time has been pretty impressive. You know what, what can you say about them hosting and getting a chance to, to play in their arena this weekend? Well, they've earned that. You know, to be able to host, you've got to play a tough schedule and you've got to win, and uh, that's what they've done. So, you know, uh, I saw something where Kim was. Uh, upset about something I don't know who it was maybe it's who she was playing or whatever but uh, you know we're pretty excited about going there it's close enough for our fans to get there um, that was my main main argument I wanted I wanted us to be close enough to Murfreesboro so that we had fan a fan base if they wanted to drive or if they had their daughters playing or whatever uh, in this situation what is it, about eight hours down there and, you know I, I drive eight hours all the time you know, to, on vacation and recruiting and everything else. So it's not a big deal to me or anybody in my family. And I would dare say if I had a young lady playing on our team right now, it wouldn't be a big deal for some of these parents. They'll be there when their daughters tip it up. 
but uh, it's it's a good situation. I, I like the bas- We're not going to go there and it not be a basketball environment. From what I understand, it's a sellout. I don't know whether we got seventeen, eighteen thousand people in that in that facility. So, you know, it's going to be exciting for our players and our coaching staff to to play in front of that many people, even though they all won't be ours. Maybe we can do enough there to convert them over to be Lady Raider fans against Louisville. So we have a similar question to Courtney. You know, second time in the tournament for you. What, what did you learn last time that you're hoping to apply this year to, to what y'all are doing down there? <clears throat> well, uh, last year we played Colorado, and you know that wasn't the result that we wanted. So a big emphasis going into the summer and the preseason was just becoming more physical. And you know, I think we've proven that throughout this this league of like the improvement that we've went through. So um, just that was a big key emphasis was becoming more physical. So. You know, just going into this game, we just got to continue playing within ourselves and just continue playing Middle Tennessee basketball. I'd like to approach that Colorado thing. I think they were misseeded last year, to be honest with you, and I think they proved that to everybody. They went, they went on and beat Duke at Duke pretty handily, more handily than they beat us, and then they go to and play Iowa, and I think at one time they had a chance to win that game. It ended up being a two- or three-point game. And then Iowa, I think they go to the Final Four. So that kind of gives you an idea. We knew going into the Colorado game last year that they were pretty tough. We thought that they were, they were good. And I think then you go on to the, to start this year, they beat LSU at LSU, I believe, didn't they? Mm-hmm. So the, the first game of the year. So that tells you a little bit about Colorado last year. They were a lot better basketball team than they were seeded. And, you know, we played them just – even Steven all the way through, I think it ended up being a 15 or 16 point game because we had to start fouling. We were down, you know, eight or 10, nine points, whatever it was, and we had to start fouling. They hit their free throws. But they had a very, very good basketball team last year, and they've got a good team this year. So they've got to be one of the teams that they're looking at to, to maybe advance in this tournament. And we don't have to play them this year, you know. We've got a Louisville team we got to play. But that Colorado game last year, was uh, that was a tough, tough draw for us, to be honest with you. Do you think the committee's job's gotten harder seeding teams over the years? Well, you know, that's two years in a row that we were 11, the 11th seed. And, uh, you know, this team that I've got right now is pretty good. And uh, maybe as good or better than a team that I had that was the fifth seed at one time. So I was talking to my AD yesterday, you know, we were a fifth seed. But yet, I think this team is is good or better than that team. But yet, we still stay 11. Now, I understand that you can move up one or two seeds or down one or two seeds when the committee gets together. But it seems like their overall philosophy may have changed a little bit in that meeting. But uh, regardless, you know, we won out, and uh, we're there. And I can promise you that these young ladies will come to play. We've been in some tough situations this year. We played some tough basketball teams and programs, and um, they haven't disappointed me. Now, we've lost four games, uh, but they did not disappoint me as far as their effort was concerned. They were, they, they played hard. They played tough. We played defense. Shots didn't fall in a couple of those games. One of those games, Belmont, just they just beat us. You know, you hit 14 threes, shoot 75, 80% from three-point land. It's hard to beat anybody. It's hard to beat a junior high team if they do that. We'll go to a question on the Zoom from Cecil Joyce. From who now? Coach, how you doing? Who is it? Cecil. Doing great, Cecil. You? Doing great. Coach, uh, obviously, it's a turnaround on Louisville's squad. Talk about what the biggest difference you see in their team this year and what they had last year. It might mean style of play or, or their – offensive and defensive philosophies? Well, they're going to pressure you. They're going to get in the lanes. Uh, they're going to trap you. Uh, Jeff's not going to change his philosophy. Now, he'll, he'll change personnel, but he's got his, he's kind of like us. We're not going to change our philosophy either. We're not going to turn around today and practice and do something totally different because we're playing Louisville. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be us is what we're going to be, and that's kind of been our motto all year when we go out. Is we got to be we got to be Middle Tennessee. We can't be something we're not. Well, Jeff's going to be the same way. He's a he's an a, an older coach that not as old as me, but he's a, a older coach that's that he's got what he does and he does it well. And he recruited to that system 
I think he lost three – well, I know he did. I, he lost three or four young ladies last year that was on that team, one of them going to LSU. But uh, he's got some good players back. He, he got in the portal and got some good players, and they, they've kind of come together, and he's done, done pretty good with them this year. I'm sure he's not satisfied – where he's at as far as his seed was concerned. I'm sure he's not satisfied that he didn't win the ACC tournament. I know Jeff is kind of like me. When he went into that tournament, he went in with the intentions of winning it, and he didn't do it. Same thing with us when we went into the Conference USA tournament. We went in to win it. We didn't go in to get second place. I'm going to go ahead and ask Courtney a quick question since I'm over here and then let the guys there get back to it. Courtney, this is your third NCAA tournament. Uh, Talk about just the different mentality. And, you know, some of the players haven't played a lot in an NCAA tournament. What you can tell them about just the environment and how you have to prepare yourself differently mentally. Yeah, I think that's the biggest part is the mental aspect of the NCAA tournament because it's so easy to get caught up in um, the highs of it. And while it's it's what you work for, um, especially like whenever I started playing basketball as a little girl, you watch on TV the NCAA tournament. And so um, it is an amazing accomplishment. But to get to where we want to go, we have to have the right mindset. And that's main and humble, like Coach said, um, continuing to do the same things that we've done to this point. So. Uh, for, for Courtney and Savannah, I know that the weeks can kind of blur together sometimes in a season, but what, what do you remember about preparing for Louisville last year and, and what the focus level was like you know, for the game in the Murphy Center? Uh, that was an amazing experience just because we had worked – uh, we kept saying Louisville's name literally when we were running on the football field um, in the summer working for that moment. And same thing with this moment. We've been saying, hey, we want to win games in the NCAA tournament. And so I think it's the same mindset, the same approach. Um, we've been working for this. It didn't just happen overnight, um, but we also can't stop that work. So. Yeah, um, you know, we beat them last year, but, you know, that's that's a different team. You know, there's a different Louisville team. We're a different team. But, um, you know, like Coach and Courtney were saying, we're just going to continue playing Middle Tennessee basketball and just keep being who we are and just – it's just another game. And, um, you know, just how we prepare is how we prepare for any other team. Uh, just go hard, practice, compete, and the coaches will do a great job of preparing us for this moment. Any more questions? You know, Matt and, and uh, Tom and Nina have put, been putting the scouting reports together. And um, – Probably, you know, since Sunday night, uh, I doubt very seriously if they've slept much because they've been working hard on, on making sure that we got the right approach and the right strategies for this afternoon's practice. And it's an important practice this afternoon and tomorrow before we leave to go to Baton Rouge. So I'm very confident in our coaching staff. They've done well all year long getting, this, getting our, our players ready and making sure that they've got the things that they need on their iPads and their iPhones. So we we'll, we go with this just like we were going at Liberty or we were going, uh, we were going to play La Tech or, or UTEP or whomever. But uh, none of that will change. I mean, we're going to be us, and we're going to get into our scouting reports like we have done 34 times. So what are we now, 29 and 4, so 33 times. We're going to do the same thing that we've done um, through all that. And like the girls said, we, you know, our big thing right now is we, we haven't won. We've been in the NCAA tournament 13 times um, since I've been here, and we've had one game. We beat Gonzaga, and then we got beat by I can't remember who it was, uh, who marched. <laughs> um, you know, and we've been in a, a lot of games where I think we've lost three games by one point in the NCAA tournament: Michigan State, Mississippi State. And one other team, so you know we we need to go into the tournament and we need to win some games. So that would probably be more of our mindset than Louisville, to be honest with you. Uh, any more questions on the Zoom? Thank y'all. Thank you. No, thank y'all. We appreciate you. Y'all have done well for us all year long. Very professional, always there, encouraging our players. Um, questioning our coaching staff and our strategies, but encouraging our players. I like that. But, uh, hey, thank you all. We appreciate you.